So you're relocating to Cincinnati. You got a new job here. Maybe you're coming with Amazon. Maybe you're coming with P&G. Maybe you're coming with somebody else, but you got to figure out which neighborhood to live in, what city should you live in. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Eric Sanyo from Keller Williams Realty and TeamSanyo.com where we are helping you find your home and strengthen your family. I'm here in the Stanyo Vanyo today. I've been showing houses all morning. Um, because I had a client who's moving here from Hawaii, Hawaii, yes, uh, to Northern Kentucky or Cincinnati. Uh, they're coming here because as many of you might know, the Amazon, big Amazon hub is coming into the Northern, the CVG Northern Kentucky airport, Greater Cincinnati airport. What a lot of people don't realize is that <laughs> until they get here is that the Cincinnati airport is actually in Kentucky. So Kentucky borders up to Southwest Ohio and Cincinnati and kind of makes up the larger Cincinnati metro region. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been dialoguing and emailing back and forth with these clients who are coming in, moving here, and they want to know a few things. Um, where are the best school districts, right? Where are the best neighborhoods, family-friendly neighborhoods to live? I've got kids in high school and middle school. Where can they plug in and have a bunch of friends? Uh, how can we be close to downtown and different amenities? And where are the different price points? And those are all great questions. I'd love to help you out that. If you're relocating to Cincy, uh, I can let you know all those, but let's talk about a little bit uh, what we looked at today. Um, in terms of the school districts, what we looked at and from a public school standpoint, some of the top school districts in the area include uh, Westchester, Lakota schools, Mason schools, which are around the north end of the city. So if you're are moving to Cincinnati and your job might be on the north end, you might want to strongly consider Westchester, Mason, Sycamore schools, Lakota schools, all those are very strong. If you're down and your job is going to be in Northern Kentucky, then um, there's a few other schools districts you might want to look at. In Northern Kentucky, there is the Fort Thomas School District, which is really one of the strongest schools in all of Kentucky. You have the Beechwood School District. Um, and then when it comes to the public schools, you're looking at in Boone County, uh, you probably want to look at Ryle High School or Cooper High School, which is down in Union, Kentucky. Campbell County is also fairly strong for public schools and also Walton Verona, which is a little bit further south, gonna have more of a rural feel than some of the other areas. Another school district that I like in a place where I lived in Cincinnati for about eight years is the east side of Cincinnati, Anderson Township. You might find a pretty good budget price for your, for your dollar there. Uh, the homes are, most of the homes there were built in the 70s, 80s, 90s. It's kind of landlocked, so not a lot of new construction there. If you're looking for new construction and you want to be in those school districts, Westchester and Mason up more on the northern ends, maybe some in Loveland as well. Um, but down here in Northern Kentucky and where I'm coming at, where I'm coming uh, and filming this video today is in Triple Crown neighborhood, which is in Union, Kentucky. So you're going to be in that Ryle High School district um, and you're going to be able to get uh, a nice, beautiful home in a well-established neighborhood here in Triple Crown, Kentucky. So this might be a little bit of an oversimplification, but if you are wanting to be closer to the hub of the city, let's say your job might be more downtown, uh, and you're looking at areas such as Fort Thomas in Kentucky, Fort Mitchell in Northern Kentucky, or let's say you're on the other side of the river in Cincinnati and you're looking at Madeira or Marymount, even Hyde Park, you're gonna, in terms of your dollar, to be closer to, this, to the downtown Cincinnati, you're gonna get probably less home per square footage for your dollar. So and this is fairly standard for most metro cities, right? As you kind of push out into the suburbs, so in Cincinnati, as you're getting outside around that 275, that I-275 loop that goes around the city, there's a little bit more land to work with. Your dollar is gonna stretch a little bit further. You're probably gonna see more newer subdivisions. You're gonna get bigger homes. You're gonna get houses that have a more modern design, more open layout feel, kitchens that open up into the living room or have a morning room right off the kitchen. Just in terms of the construction themselves, you know, I live in Fort Thomas, which is a much or older community. My house is over hundred years old. And so it is not an open floor plan. Um, but you know, you're going to get a ton of character in that house. You're going to, we've got an old stone foundation. It's three stories high, lots of beautiful woodwork. Um, if you're looking for that kind of a feel, then you might look for an area like Fort Thomas or Fort Mitchell, or like I said, Marymount or Madeira on the Cincinnati side, uh, maybe Walnut Hills, something like that. 
Um, but if you are more interested in like, look, I don't want to do, with, I don't want to deal with a lot of home repairs. We're relocating from another city. Um, I, I got to focus on my job and I don't want to be messing with the house and doing a bunch of cosmetic updates. I'd rather have something newer. Then again, I'm going to steer you, um, you know, on the north side of Cincinnati to Mason, Westchester, Loveland. And in northern Kentucky, you're going to be looking at, you know, for a lower price point, you could go out to Campbell County near Alexandria and Independence. If your price point is more in the 400s, 500s, 600s, then Union, Kentucky might be a really good fit for you. Um, like I said, I'm here in the Triple Crown neighborhood. We just did a video where we um, talked about what's happening in Union and the development here. And we compared and contrasted Triple Crown to Bally Shannon. Triple Crown has a very, very, very nice um, golf course. So if you're into golf, uh, the country club here, you, you'd want to become a member. They have uh, a pool so you could become you could be just like a pool member, you could be a golf member. But this, this neighborhood in itself, Triple Crown, is kind of like its own little village. It's not a city, but it's in Union. Uh, it has a golf cart feel, so like people are riding their golf carts around, and, and it's all kind of interwoven and connected. So it's a great place inside of Northern Kentucky if you, if you want to be more towards that newer construction feel, um, more modern architecture, more open floor plan, and get a little bit more square footage for your dollar then I would definitely check out here in Union. There's some places in Hebron, like I said, some in Independence, but you kind of have to get outside of the, the city where they're, they're able to acquire more land. Because honestly, new, ho new construction and the builders, they're selling out like crazy. And they're, they're trying to acquire more land. And the only way they can really do that is to kind of keep pushing outside of the city limits. So if you guys are relocating to Cincinnati, I hope this was helpful for you helpful for you and gives you at least a little bit of a feel for these different cities and areas around the greater Cincinnati metro on where you might choose for school district, for the type of home you might get, and for general price points. Would love to talk to you more about what you're looking for specifically for your family, what's most important to you and your criteria, and help you get into the perfect home here in the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky area. Give us a call at Team Stanio, 513-813-6293. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.